Hi, my name is Scott McIntosh, and I'm the Director of Career Development and Student Success at the School of Public Health. This time of year is one of my favorites. Our students are putting their final touches on projects and papers that are needed to earn their degrees. And this is the time of year when our team would be gearing up to recognize and to celebrate all of the amazing achievements of our students from the last two, three, or four years in Morgantown. And while many things have changed this semester, one thing that hasn't changed is how much we love and appreciate all of our mountaineers, wherever they may be. It's with that sentiment in mind that we were really wanted to push forward and continue the tradition of celebrating the achievements of our students with the presentation of our annual student awards. I want to congratulate all of our students who've made it to graduation and thank each of them for all they've done during their time with us here at the School of Public Health. Whether you know it or not, you've had an impact on so many of your faculty and staff. And we know that you're gonna take that forward after your academic careers are over. And you're gonna help those people around the communities of West Virginia, around our country, and around the world. With that being said, I wanna go ahead and start the presentation of our awards. The recipient of the Outstanding BSPH Student Award is Ms. Brittany Smith. When I came to the School of Public Health, I had this idea that I was just going to try to get by, I was gonna lay low. Instead, my journey here really taught me who I was and what I represented. And I was able to figure those things out by pursuing my work and my different passions. So for me, I represent the kids from up the holler, the kids who come from disadvantaged communities, the minorities, those who really are dealt a bad hand and you keep going and you keep going. And the School of Public Health really helped push me along and let me reach my full potential despite anything else I'd been through. So that's why this award is so precious to me. It represents the beginning of a journey that I think is really going to be promising and one that I think is going to change many lives. The Junior Public Health Investigator Award is presented to an undergraduate public health student. This year's recipient is Ms. Sriraja Sriram. The Promising Public Health Investigator Award goes to a graduate student. This year's recipient is Mr. Raihan Khan. The recipient of this year's Ruth E. Kirshner Community Service Award is Ms. Melissa Head. Hi everyone, so I am here with my pup Cole to talk about this amazing award that I've received. But before I get into that, I do want to say that I hope you and your friends and family are staying safe and healthy. It's so important to remember that we'll be entering a field that has been so integral and in fighting something that the world has really never seen before. And I think that's just something to be extremely proud of. Receiving this award was definitely special because I think that community service is like what public health is all about. Um, and you know, here in the future, it's, it just helps to remember that even if you're in a position where you're not necessarily going out into the community every single day, that there's still so much that you can do to really serve the public. The Junior Promising Public Health Practitioner Award is given to an undergraduate student. Our 2020 recipient is Ms. Hannah Mayer. The Promising Public Health Practitioner Award is given to a master's or a doctoral student. This year's recipient is Ms. Maya Nye.
Every year, each of the departments within the School of Public Health will offer an award to one outstanding student. The recipients of these awards were nominated and selected by the faculty in their area of study. The Department of Biostatistics presents their award to Ms. Brenna Manavusan. The Department of Epidemiology presents their award to Ms. Stacy Tressler. The Department of Health Policy, Management, and Leadership has selected Ms. Marvina Jones. Hello, I am Marvina Jones and it is an honor to be recognized by the Health Policy, Management, and Leadership Departments. I am happy to even have been considered because I know the others in my cohort have put in a lot of hard work these last couple years and that they are just as worthy. So thank you for your consideration and your selection. As an MPH student, I have especially enjoyed the immersive activities and opportunities that have been facilitated by the School of Public Health. Through the practicum-based experience and these various immersive activities I was able to participate in, I learned a lot about myself. I was able to touch base with my Appalachian roots, and now I know that I am passionate about rural health and its various components. So I am very thankful for this experience. The Department of Occupational an Environmental Health Sciences Award will be presented to Mr. Cletus Opong. The award for the Department of Social and Behavioral Sciences goes to Ms. Hannah Lehman. Being the recipient of this award to me means that the Social and Behavioral Sciences faculty have noticed my hard work inside and outside of the classroom. This gives me motivation to continue to work hard and show them that they've not only made a great impact on my education, but my life as well. I would really like to take the time to thank everybody involved. Thank you. I would like to take a moment to recognize the work of a couple of our amazing student organizations here at the school. The first group of students that I would like to acknowledge is our Student Association of Public Health. SAF plans activities throughout the year in which students can participate with an emphasis on community health outreach and education, community service and civic engagement, and professional development. These students also serve as liaisons between our School of Public Health student body and our faculty and staff. I had the honor of serving this group of leaders as their staff advisor for the past academic year, and I so appreciate their willingness to advocate on behalf of the entire student body. The second organization I want to recognize is the Gamma Mu chapter of Delta Omega. At this time, I will continue recognizing our graduating School of Public Health students who are nominated for induction into Delta Omega. These students have outstanding academic achievements and exemplify scholarship and community service by serving on student committees, being involved in the community, and shown a clear dedication to the field of public health. This year's Delta Omega inductees are Mohini Chatterjee, Marvina Jones, Hannah Lehman, and Raihan Khan. In my first year, Dr. Ruchi Bhandari, who's been like a second mother to me. She's been so caring. She encouraged me to apply for the PhD. And in my second year, Dr. Robin Pellini, who's been an incredible mentor, she um, also encouraged me to do apply. And I did, and I'm so thrilled at getting accepted. So that's what the future holds for me. I fell in love with the school and the values it holds, and I cannot wait to see um, 
you know everything else that I learn and all the new adventures that await. So um, upon graduating, I will assume a position as a rural health program manager with an academic institution in, in, in Appalachia. So I am very excited, but I am also a bit fearful like the rest of the world. Um, we are going through a pandemic right now, so it is a bit scary, but one point of reassurance is I know the School of Public Health has prepared me for the next chapter in my journey. So I am reassured, I am still excited, and I am definitely staying positive through all of this. So I'm very excited to be graduating and starting WVU's PhD program in Public Health Sciences with a major in Social and Behavioral Sciences. And I'm so excited to be working with Dr. Christensen and the West Virginia Prevention Research Center here in the fall. I welcome you all to our Gamma Mu chapter of the Delta Omega Honorary Society, and I appreciate your dedication to continue our traditions of community service, scholarship, and outreach. Congratulations again. Hi everyone, my name is Brenner Kirk and I'm a co-president of the Gamma Mu chapter of Delta Omega. It is my sincere pleasure to introduce our chapter's 2020 honorary inductee. On behalf of the Gamma Mu chapter, I am delighted to induct Dr. Ranjita Misra as she is a nationally and internationally recognized expert known for her contributions to the field of public health specifically focused on health disparities in the U.S., Mexico, and India. Not only is Dr. Misra a professor in the Department of Social and Behavioral Sciences in the School of Public Health, but she is also the director of the Public Health Training Center at WVU, where she has devoted much time and effort to developing and linking students to opportunities for community-engaged research and practice-based experiences. Dr. Misra has clearly exhibited excellence in research, mentorship, and service, and has contributed greatly to the mission of the university in leading transformation in West Virginia and the world through local, state, and global engagement. For these reasons and more, the Gamma Mu chapter of Delta Omega enthusiastically wishes to induct Dr. Ranjita Misra as the 2020 honorary member and we thank her for her continued service to the university, community, and beyond. Congratulations once again to all of our award recipients, our Delta Omega inductees, and soon-to-be graduates. Before we go our separate ways, I'd like to share the following. A fantastic band, The Head and the Heart, has a beautiful song called Rivers and Roads. It's a song about the way things change. The lead singer sadly opens the song with the lyrics, A year from now, we'll all be gone, all our friends will move away, and they're going to better places but our friends will be gone away. As the song progresses, the mood greatly improves as the singer accepts the fact that things change and no matter how far away your friends go, you're only separated by a few rivers and a few roads. Whether you remain here in West Virginia or you travel to the farthest corner of the earth for a little while, please know you are now and will forever be part of our family here at the School of Public Health. You will always have a home here in the Mountain State your biggest fans and cheerleaders are here, and we can't wait to see how you all go forth and make the world a better place. And may country roads always lead you back home.